Hey, Booski, what's up? Happy Sunday to you all. So, update, update, update. It has been a month since my surgery, you guys. One month. And I am so happy to report that I am feeling better. I'm feeling better. I'm still having cramps. Sometimes they are more bearable than others. You know, sometimes they're unbearable to the point your girl is balled up in tears. And then sometimes, for the most part, it's just, you know, a, a, just a, an uncomfortable cramp. Like your period about to start type uncomfortable cramp. And I just take me a nice little Tylenol. I do the same for the unbearable pain. Because I don't have any more prescription medicine. Of course, that ran out. You know, you only get a certain amount to hold you through the first two weeks of your recovery time. You know, that's when they assume that you should be, you know, the hard, the rough patch you should have already, you know, went through. So, I take regular Tylenol, even when the pain at time is a little unbearable for me. I just pop the regular Tylenol and just tough it out. But for the most part, it's been pretty good, guys. I'm, I didn't have a period yet. It's month two without a period haven't had a period i'm still spotting you know here that sometimes tmi you guys sometimes my spotting is like the brownish spotting and then sometimes it's like red like red spotting or sometimes it's pink so it it varies um my energy level is it's, it's, it's getting right, guys. It's getting right. Like, I can clean up. I know y'all like, girl, clean up. Like, what you mean? When you have fibroids, when I say it depletes you of your energy, it sucks you dry. They're like mini, miniature vampires living inside you, honey. It sucks you completely dry. I mean, it takes all your energy. And I'm going to break it down in another video. The signs of fibroids the symptoms of fibroids like those are like two different videos that i'm gonna get into you feel me and we could talk about more about you know the symptoms of fibroids or the signs that you having fibroids because it's crazy when i tell you i could not do simple things y'all simple things like walk up a flight of stairs i could not walk for too long i'm out of breath I mean, I couldn't stand for too long. I'm in pain. You know, I discharged. It was just so much going on in my body because of them damn fibroids. And I had so many. Like, every time I would go to the emergency room for a blood transfusion, and they do an ultrasound, and I'm just bleeding. Sometimes I'm bleeding. But shit. Most of the times I was in the hospital, I was bleeding out. Like, damn fibroids just had me bleeding, like, on a constant period sometimes. And they will always tell me, ma'am, you have so many fibroids. Just get a hysterectomy. Just like that. The ultrasound take. No, well, just get a hysterectomy. You have kids? Yes, I do. Three. Oh, well, you already have kids. You don't need no more. Just like that. Don't know my life circumstances. Don't know shit about me. Don't know what the fuck going on. Nothing. Just get a hysterectomy. Look at your age on the computer. Oh, yeah. You know, you're getting up there. Get a hysterectomy. Mm-hmm. It's quick. You know, you'll love it. You'll never have a period again. You won't have no, none of these issues, none of these problems. Just get a hysterectomy. Can, if, let me tell y'all something. If I had... I'm not going to even say a dollar, Booski. If I had five dollars, y'all could up the ante if you want. But I'm going to start at five. For every time I heard that when I went to the hospital... Your girl will be set right now financially. I will be set. You know, but you hold on to what you hold on. You do what you feel is best for you. Your health, your body. You feel me? You don't let nobody push you, pressure you, guilt trip you, make you feel any kind of way to do something that you will most likely later on regret because that's not what you really wanted to do. And I didn't give a damn how many fibroids, what the hell they were saying. I was not you know, having no hysterectomy, especially not no full hysterectomy. Hell no, I'm too young for that. And it has to be another way. You feel me? You could, you could go the holistic way. 
You could go the way I did and do the UFE. That's when they block all, <clears throat> all blood flow to the fibroids. Okay, you could do liposcopic, baby, where they go in and they robotically and, and cut them out, burn them out, whatever floats your boat. You could have a hysterectomy if that if that's what you know is if that's what you want to do. If you have a partial hysterectomy, whatever, you know what I'm saying? But for me, I had a like I had the liposcopic. They didn't get them all out, clearly. And the ones that was left behind just grew even bigger. And I don't even think they got the big ones out because they were even bigger. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like some doctors give a fuck, some doctors don't. You know what I'm saying? And this doctor that I I went to here in Georgia, he cares so much. Like when you go on Google and you read the reviews, everything everybody is saying is so true. Like it's so true. I experienced it myself firsthand. Like the the staff is one is one particular staff. She's just God sent. She's just amazing. The doctor himself is awesome. You feel me? Now the anesthesiologist that I had, this little short black guy, I would not refer him. If the doctor can get rid of him, I would gladly hope so. I didn't like him, and apparently he felt some kind of way because I wasn't talking to him. Like I said in my last video, <clears throat> y'all could go back and check that out. Because I was nervous. I was scared, you know. I was by myself. Normally, you know, when you get propped up and stuff, you you can have a loved one sitting there with you. You feel me? After they done propped you up and got your IV running and stuff like that, you can have somebody sitting with you. Or sometimes they get your IV running and all that stuff right with your loved one there. And nothing. Everybody was so robotic. Like, the the I guess he was a nurse, the person that was, you know, giving me the meds and running my IV. He was all right. It's just I personally did not like the medical staff, like the people who were there doing the procedure. They was just too cold, too robotic for me, except this one lady that was assisting the doctor. She was a black lady. She was, and I was up the whole time, y'all. Yes, I was told I would be put to sleep. That's what I was told by the doctor. I would be put to sleep on a light on the light anesthesia and nothing heavy, I'll be put to sleep. I was wide awake, like how we talking right now, wide open, wide awake, talking. And the anesthesia, I was just, he had a stank attitude. He felt some kind of way. Honey, he was acting like, you know, he was one of us. I don't know. Like, that was not the time or the place to act that way. I'm patient. I'm scared. Shit. This, the fuck? I was scared. Like, I was nervous. You going in my main artery, my wrist. I just, oh, honey, my mind was going everywhere. And I just, me and surgeries, I just, oh, you know, I had, what, three. This made my third one, I believe, my third surgery. Because I had my tubes tied after I had my last child. I had a tubal ligation reversal with um um the fibroid removal at the same time so i had my tubes reversed so i could have another child and then i had some fibroids removed the liposcopic fibroid the liposcopic surgery for the fibroid removal i had that and then i had the ufe this this last time so you know your girl was just nervous i was really nervous and um besides all that the doctor is really cool he's really straight he checks up on you you can call him whenever um he has a he has a uh, a staff member she is so sweet so helpful like a she, true god sent true angel she's a sweet lady um in another video i would definitely be posting up his information and just talking a little bit about him and my experience uh, you know with them it won't be a long video something you know short and just to, you know share information with, for the, with those of you who are thinking about having the ufe surgery you feel me here in georgia they right here in georgia um yeah so uh i'm not really sure what part of georgia 
I don't really want to call anything out, but I don't know. Uh, they they right here in Twitter. Probably, well, um, I'm not really sure, you guys. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. So, I'm gonna give that. I'm gonna get that information for y'all. I'm gonna get it for y'all. I think it's. I may, it may be indicated. I don't know. Don't quote me on that, boo. But I'm gonna get the information. I'm gonna get it. Um. By eating, cause you know your girl ain't have no appetite. Boo, y'all! It was just awful. Like when I tell y'all, no quality of life, no quality of life, honey. I haven't celebrated a birthday in God knows how long. I was always sick, always sick. I couldn't hold a job down too long because I was sick, bleeding out. I'm like in excruciating pain, messing up my clothes. I would have to bring extra clothes in my car, bring extra like you know I always have a bag at work. So I have, you know, extra pants and panties and pads, all that in my, with me at all times, at all times, because I never knew, you feel me, when an incident may occur and I have to get myself together, even as a young girl in school, in middle school, in high school, I was having these problems, you know, messing up my clothes, you know, having to pack, you know, making sure I have me some extra panties in the pants, a pair of pants or something with me when I go to school. Um, sometimes I was too sick to go to school, throwing up, bad cramps, headaches, like, you know, shaking. It was just bad. Them fibroids, I, I believe even then I had them. And my parents just didn't do their due diligence in taking me to the doctor and keeping me up on my checkups and all that stuff. But that's neither here nor there. You know, I'm taking care of myself now. Do what the fuck I'm supposed to do for me. So, um, yeah. So as far as all that, y'all, I'm good. I'm doing. I'm doing good. Your girl got energy, an appetite. I can walk up and down stairs. I can walk without losing my breath. You feel me? You know, I got. I I got. I sleep. You know, I wasn't sleeping well. I'm sleeping. You feel me? Um, what else? What else? Yeah, girl. For the most part, y'all, energy, honey. Energy, energy, energy. And it's energy coming from all sorts of places. Wink, wink. If you know what I mean, honey. She getting energy from everywhere, honey. There's places that's been dry, dried up, honey. Desertile, honey. It's, it's up now. Baby, it's, it's they woke. They woke. <laughs> they is woke, honey. They is woke. Yes. Um, but all just aside, I'm doing very I'm doing good, y'all. I'm doing good. I'm doing better. I'm I'm excited to see, you know, how life is gonna be for me from this point on. I'm so excited, guys. My birthday is next year. In June, you know, I pray God allow me to see, you know, my birthday. And, um, you know, hopefully your girl will be feeling good. You feel me? And, honey, celebrate her birthday. Y'all going to be right with me, friend, cousin, best friends, <laughs> family. Y'all going to be right with me. Yes, celebrating with your girl. You feel me? So, yeah, y'all, that's it. That's it. I just wanted to share that with y'all. <sighs> How y'all Sunday? I pray it's going well. Whether Whatever it is you're doing, you can be at home chilling, watching a movie, or just chilling on your phone, or just chilling, sleeping, saying, shit, today I'm finna lay down and not do a damn thing. Just lay in my bed. Whatever it is you're doing today, I hope that you're enjoying your day. Honey, yes. Because I am. Booski. And remember... Y'all, until we speak again, remember that God loves you and you know your girl, Booski. You know I love you. You know I love you. All right, so until then, guys, I'm going to holler at y'all. Y'all be easy. <laughs>